What is up guys, my name is Chase and welcome to day four of my seven days of Switch Miss. For today's video, I feel like going big brain mode. We're gonna be making some big five head moves in the games today. Here are some of my favorite puzzle games for the Nintendo Switch. The first puzzle game we're gonna be talking about is Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain. I don't know about you guys, but I was a huge fan of the Big Brain Academy games back on the Nintendo DS. So when it was announced that a new Big Brain Academy game, Brain vs. Brain, would be coming to the Nintendo Switch, it brought back so much nostalgia for me and I was hyped. So just like the original games, Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain exercises those knowledge muscles. There are a bunch of different activities that exercise your memorization, focusing, and more. And with Brain vs. Brain, you can even compete with family and friends in up to four player multiplayer matches. Plus, there is even an online mode where you can compete with the ghost data of players from around the world. I think video games that actually make exercise your brain fun are really great especially for kids who are still developing and Big Brain Academy Brain vs Brain does a really great job at that. The next puzzle game we're gonna be looking at is a really fun multiplayer game. This is called Tricky Towers. If you're a fan of Tetris you are going to love Tricky Towers. Tricky Towers focuses on the classic gameplay of stacking tetraminos however it adds a huge twist when real-world physics are involved. This game supports up to four players locally or online and there are are many different game modes to discover, but all of them involve using unique puzzle skills when trying to perfectly plan out how you want your different tetraminos to stack on top of each other, while also keeping in mind that they can topple over. It's a really really interesting spin on the classic Tetris gameplay. And finally, our last puzzle game for the Nintendo Switch is perfect for the holiday season. Let's talk about Little Inferno. I think this is one of the most unique video games that we're going to be talking about for Switch Miss. In Little Inferno, you are sad in front of a fireplace and you simply just burn stuff. And just based off of that explanation, it might not sound like a lot of fun, but I can assure you that once you start getting into it, it is so much fun burning things. You unlock different catalogs where you can buy different items to burn in your little Inferno Entertainment fireplace, and along the way you have to unlock these combos, which is done by burning specific items at the same time. And because of that, this game does require you to really think outside of the box. It's really funny trying to figure out all of the different wordplay that is thrown into these combos. And in case you haven't played this game. I won't spoil anything, but I will say that there is a bit more to it than just burning things in a fireplace. You definitely just have to play it for yourself. And luckily, Tomorrow Corporation has just released the new Ho Ho Holiday DLC, 10 years after the original release of Little Inferno. Unfortunately, the DLC is not out for the Switch as of this recording, but once it is released for the Switch, it makes for a perfect holiday season game. And heck, even without the Christmas DLC, this game is just really cozy to play during the winter time. So those are some of my favorite puzzle games for the Nintendo Switch. By the time you're done playing these games, you're gonna feel like the smartest person in the world. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what are some of your guys' favorite puzzle games for the Nintendo Switch. If you want to see yesterday's 7 Days of Switch Miss video, feel free to check it out below. For now, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chase, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!